Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today, I'm in Melbourne with my friend Tashem from Pushing Film. So you can check out his channel, Pushing Film, which is a pretty big film photography channel in Australia. And he always has helpful things in there, so go check it out. I'm going to be shooting some P3200, which we've done a video on this and the Delta as well. But we're in Melbourne, which is so much more interesting than Brisbane. So we're going to do some street, but I've got my Canon P, which is all manual, and I need to get better at doing stuff like that. My EOS 5 has been helping me cheat for way too long. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to load it up and then we're just going to walk around. <laughs> Hashem had T-Max 3200 loaded and I'm pointing shoot as well. So we're both shooting T-Max P3200 and I have to say his point and shoot turned out really nice. Unfortunately, my shots, though there were some okay ones, weren't as good. So my Canon P is a good camera. I just have a pretty bad lens on it. The lens itself in theory is good, but this particular lens has some lens separation in it. And so it is a bit hazy. And so it does tend to look a bit softer. It does tend to be a bit grainier. And then also, like I said in previous episodes, I was practicing zone focusing, which I would not recommend doing at night. Take the time to just stand still and focus with the rangefinder and don't worry about the zone focusing at night, unless you're very experienced at it. I unfortunately am not, so would not recommend. Hashem also had some Superior 400 loaded in his Leica and so those are the coloured shots you're seeing and now it's a nice sharp lens and good colours from Fuji and here we have his point and shoot and you'll see my shot which sucks <laughs> you can barely see anything and I think part of that was even though I did have 3200 ISO film I was trying to have deeper focus and so I was going on lower shutter speeds, but higher f-stops. And I really shouldn't have done that. While I was trying to get more things in focus, I ended up getting half this roll not in focus. Funnily enough. It's all a learning experience. This trip was kind of the first time I was really using my rangefinder. And it was a learning curve. And there's a lot of things that I've learned that I will not do. <laughs> And that's all part of the fun and all part of the experience and all part of shooting film, really. Sure, digital cameras are great, but with the film, you really force yourself to learn the basics. And it is a lot of practice, practice, practice. And here's a shot of Relia I got of Hashem. And here's me in the Supreme 400. Actually quite similar in colour. But yeah, this shot's kind of in focus. <laughs> At least mostly, it's been a bit of an angle. This shot, not so much. Here you can see I was really on that low shutter speed with the motion blur of that guy. And he's one of the few shots I have that actually look decently sharp. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun just walking around with Hashem and just talking because really like I didn't get a lot of footage of what we we're taking photos of because we were kind of just talking and yeah, talking about photography, talking about filmmaking, getting to know each other and just yeah, walking around and experiencing Melbourne and it was fun. And I really appreciate Hashem catching up with me rather last minute. I only messaged him a few days before I got to Melbourne. I had been meaning to do it earlier, but I kept forgetting. And so it was kind of last minute and it was cool that we were able to do something and hopefully we'll be able to catch up again either in Melbourne or up here in Brisbane. So coming up, we came across this couple that were like hardcore making out. And this is kind of like one of those like ethical <laughs> things with street photography where you want to kind of get the moment but then it's also kind of like yeah but I kind of like this shot it is a bit darker than I was hoping and unfortunately the next shots aren't in focus at all and aren't well exposed at all 
But yeah, I think that first shot was kind of worth it. It was kind of awkward and I was trying not to be noticeable. Yeah, just set it so it was in focus between 7 and 10. And so I did kind of just set my focus on one particular place and kind of just like walked and yeah, it didn't fully work out. One of the shots is usable, but it is one of those street photography things where it's like, this is somebody's kind of private moment, even though these people were doing it very publicly. <laughs> And it is one of those things where you're like, do I take the photo or do I just walk by? But I did it. Ooh. Get him now? <laughs> I like this guy's coach. Mm. Should we go stalk? <laughs> <laughs> and it's something that I think all us street photographers struggle with. Some people have done it enough that they're just kind of like, no, nah, I'm just going to catch the moment because I mean, that's how we have all these photos of recorded history, just people taking photos of life around them. And if we don't do that, who is? And so I guess that's kind of my justification. That's street photography for you. And unfortunately, yeah, these couple shots are all out of focus. And yeah, I'm, I'm not great at zone focusing yet, guys, but I'm getting there. It's a lot of practice. These shots in focus at least. But yeah, I don't know why my shots came out so dark. I thought I was exposing them right, but I guess not. So, we're camping. What's up? We're camping out. That's what we call it. Talking about camping. Waiting for an interesting character to walk into frame right into that spotlight over there. Yeah. It probably won't happen, but we'll try anyway. <laughs> So this is Hashem's shot, which is nice. And then here's my two grainy out of focus shots. I will say it is a bit brighter, but yeah, I need to get a new lens for my Canon P ASAP. Hope you liked the episode, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on T Max 3200. I did try to expose it to stop, so it might be a bit more usable in the shadows than it mostly is. It was not because it can be contrasty, depending on how it's scanned. But anyway, feel free to like and subscribe, comment below your thoughts on the images, and just get out there, shoot some film.